Hi, I'm Dan Cordopassi. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale Gunderson Husky Stack well car with two containers from Rapido Trains. My car is decorated in the TTX as delivered scheme. It comes with two 53 foot containers. One of my containers is decorated for BNSF and the other for JB Hunt. From what I understand, the containers you get with any particular car are random. Rapido also offers these cars with the newer TTX red logo. The MSRP for this car is $49.95. I paid $39.99 for my car at modeltrainstuff.com. Rapido also sells the containers separately in two packs. The MSRP for those is $24.95. Modeltrainstuff.com has them for $17.99. As we're looking at the model, it's important to factor in the price of the containers as it puts the price of the car itself in the $20 to $25 range. I had to remind myself of that as I was doing the review as my expectations for a $40 car are higher than they are for a $20 car. We'll start the model at 100 possible points. The car and containers are packaged in a cardboard box with a clear plastic window on top. Inside, a two-piece plastic cradle protects the models. There's an exploded view drawing inside the box. A package of what appear to be grab irons are also included. I had to really look at the exploded view drawing to see where these were supposed to go. Unfortunately, there aren't any holes drilled in the ends of the car, so if you want to use these, you'll need to drill the holes yourself. We'll come back to that later in the review. This is a good box that should protect the models for storage and transport. I couldn't find any photos online of this particular car, but I did find photos of other cars in the same number series. The model looks to be a very close match. The date stencil on the car has a build date of 2003, so these should be appropriate for most 21st century era layouts. I wasn't able to find any prototype photos of the BNSF container, nor could I find one in the same number series. The closest numbered containers I found are a different style, with external vertical ribs. I couldn't find any photos of this particular JB Hunt container either, but I found one that was three numbers off from mine. While the prototype container looks similar, the JB Hunt logo is on the left side, not on the right as on the model, and the real container has fewer vertical rivet lines. I suspect that these containers follow a different prototype and were painted in these color schemes so Rapido could offer more variety. However, since I can't say definitively that they're incorrect, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. The paint on the car is opaque and thin enough not to obscure detail. All the markings are very crisp and all but the tiniest writing is legible with magnification. The paint on the containers is also nicely done and the printing is very sharp. The car has a die cast body with most of the detail molded on. This works okay for a well car since they tend to be fairly plain looking anyway. The corner steps and vertical grabs are a separate plastic part. All of the vertical grabs in my car are slightly crooked. I don't see a good way to straighten them without risking breakage. On the ends the car is very plain. There are no uncoupling levers or air hoses. I would like to see these details, but considering the actual price of the car itself is in the $20 range, I think it's acceptable. As I mentioned earlier, there are no holes for the end grabs. There are some molded on bolt heads. Looking at the prototype photos, the grab irons should be above these. The grabs have one long side and one short side. There are dimples to drill holes for the grabs, but only on the two outer bolts on the A end. At first, I thought the intent was to drill one hole and insert the longer end of the grab iron through it. I'm drilling into metal here with a number 76 bit and a pin vise, and it's very slow going. It seems like there's a lot of material behind where the hole should be, so drilling all the way through isn't very practical. Instead, I'm cutting the long end of the grab iron shorter. Unfortunately, trying to glue it with CA on just one side isn't working. Using the cast on bolts as a guide, I'm drilling the inner holes. I've already glued one grab iron with CA, and it's much more stable with both ends anchored. This is the A end of the car with both grabs installed. It looks pretty good, but this model isn't being marketed as having user installed parts. There aren't any clear instructions and you have to drill into metal without enough guide dimples. I think this is too much work for a ready to run car, so I'm taking five points. The B end has a nice looking brake wheel and chain. The A end has a brake reservoir and triple valve with cast on piping. The plumbing here looks a little too thick in cross section. It would look better if the airlines were made of wire. The platforms on the ends of the car are a combination of photo etched and plastic parts. I had to look at Rapido's website to verify this. If you look really closely, you can see the photo etched walkways inside and on top of the plastic supports. Unfortunately, doing things like this kind of defeats the purpose of having photo etched parts, since they're not see-through. 
The end result is a car that looks like a model with plastic walkways. The small walkways that extend partway down the car sides are not see-through either. I like the lacy open look of the car floor. There are holes in the floor to engage the bottom pins that many HO scale containers have. There isn't much to see on the underside of the car. The containers have molded on door hardware and placard holders. The paint treatment makes this look okay, though not as good as separate parts. The bottoms of the containers can be pried out if you want to add weight. If you want to do that, I would recommend only adding weight to the bottom container so that the car doesn't become top heavy. The car has rust colored knuckle couplers on both ends. Looking at the horizontal center line of each coupler, the coupler on the A end is slightly high, so I'm taking five points. The coupler on the B end is close enough to call it good. All the wheels are engaged according to the NMRA standards gauge. The car wobbles, meaning that the body will vibrate even when the wheels are firmly on the track. The car also leans slightly to one side, so I'm taking five points. This problem is even worse when the car is loaded. The car weighs 4.6 ounces empty. With one container, it weighs six ounces even, which is the same as the NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length. With both containers, it weighs 7.5 ounces. The car is very free rolling. The containers should mate with other brands of containers that also use pins on the bottom and holes on the top. Here's an Atherin 53 foot container on top of the Rapido container. This is a Walther's 40 foot container under the Rapido container. Since the bottom of the car also has two sets of holes in the middle, the shorter Walther's 20 foot containers will also fit. Let's see what we've got. The supplied end grab irons are difficult to install, so I took a total of five points in the paint and detail category. The car has one high coupler and it wobbles, so I took 10 points in the standards and operation category. That leaves us with 85 out of 100 possible points, which would be a B on a report card. This is a good model and it deserves a green signal. If you're looking for a reasonably priced well car with a couple of containers included, and you're not too concerned about small details like uncoupling levers, then you might like this car.